Perhaps no story has dominated Pennsylvania politics in 2018 quite like redistricting reform. And one man at the center of the changes we could see as early as today is Lebanon and York County State Senator Mike Fulmer. He joins us this morning on the Capitol Beat. So, Senator, thank you for joining us. I know yesterday sure. was busy. Uh, I want to update everyone on kind of uh, what happened. You're one of the main supporters of Senate Bill 22, uh, which creates an 11 citizen, 11 person independent uh, commission, which would draw up future congressional, legislative, um, and now in uh, this proposal, create judicial maps. This would ref a, a blanket reform on the way Pennsylvania handles uh, its congressional uh, uh, elections and whatnot. Um, the, the, the caveat here is why did, was there a need, because this is something that had a lot of support, uh, even before the judicial uh, amendment was brought up. Why was there a need to uh, feel that, that there was a need to bring that uh, and put that in there? Well, back in 2011, um, when, the, when the last census was done, and that's when we do the redistricting, because it's basically one vote, one person, so you have to have, make sure you have an accurate uh, population uh, uh, count. Um, we drew up the maps, and, uh, and the maps were done. Uh, the 2011 map I voted against. Um, I didn't think, personally, I didn't think they were constitutional. Um, er earlier this year, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled in, in, in the same aspect. Um, this is an issue that I wanted to do for a long time. I've been following and working with Senator Boscola, who is the prime sponsor right. of Senate Bill 22. Um, and, and I met with the folks and we worked out this deal. And uh, that, that we got to, um, out, we got the amendment out of uh, the floor yesterday and we're gonna be voting on the, on, on the bill improper today. So the big thing is this <clears throat> takes judicial elections, which right now are statewide, uh, and they eliminate the statewide voting aspect of this. Oh, well, there's another part to this. Senate Bill 22 has nothing to do with that. That's going to be a separate constitutional question. There was another constitutional amendment amended to Senate Bill 22 yesterday outside of that scope, which would change how we elect our, our, our statewide judicial candidates. Right, this would create districts. So right. seven judicial, uh, right. Supreme Court, 15 yes. Superior Court, yes. nine uh, um, Commonwealth Court. Uh, so this would create even more districts uh, in, in Pennsylvania. How well, much, for the first time in the judicial scenario. Right, scenario. How, how much are you concerned of, of just information overload for citizens that uh, here's more maps to be uh, concerned about uh, where you are or whatnot uh, and, and almost distancing uh, yourself from the public uh, that way? Well, I, I wanted to have Senate Bill 22, which was complicated enough, um, uh, going forward to to come out of the committee. Uh, this was that that was added on. As far as it actually, if you really look at it, <clears throat> in essence, um, it's since we're doing redistricting reform, and you're going to have to be drawing up Congress, I mean judicial districts. It's probably they they kind of go hand in hand in a sense. So this still has to um, pass the House, and it would have to pass the House, right? And then go through the Senate and, and then, the House again, and right? And then go through the Senate and House again, and then eventually the voters are the ones who would decide the this. The earliest this would be on the ballot would be what? what November twenty November twenty nineteen yes. for the twenty twenty census, essentially. Um, Democrats here say that this is. You're splitting maps again. This is just another case of partisan gerrymandering. Well, I mean, that, that was the debate. Like, in full honesty, I voted against putting that amendment into the bill, uh, in, into the amendment. I, I worked really long and hard with the various uh, grassroots folks, the folks from uh, uh, Fair Districts PA, Committee of Seven, uh, uh, League of Women Voters, uh, Common Cause. And, and I was just trying to be an honest broker in making sure that we, we stuck to this issue. In, in the House side, uh, the State Government Committee, your House counterpart, Daryl Matcalf, has been opposed to pretty much every um, commission-based idea that has come into uh, his, his room. How confident are you that this even sees the light of day in well, uh, the I, House? Well, I think, I think we made, and, <clears throat> and, and due to the credit to, to fair districts, the folks from the grassroots folks, uh, th through the negotiations that we've had in drawing up the amendment. I think we've uh, approached something that would be more palatable over in the House, because the goal to get anything done, remember, is that I needed 26 votes in the Senate and you need 102 votes in the House. So you've got to do something that's going to be able to do that if you want to move something forward.
State Senator Mike Fulmer, thank you so much for uh, stopping by, talking about more redistricting reform, but this is news that could happen as early as today. We didn't even get a chance to talk about uh, the budget, which is due at the end of the month, and you said to me one word, uh, which kind of describes how budget negotiations are going right now, and that is... It's, 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 it's quiet. It's quiet. And, and, <laughs> and, and, but they're, they're, they're negotiating. Um, so it's an election year. I, I do believe <laughs> we're going to be getting out sooner than later with that, which is why I'm... I'm moving some things out of the committee right now, so we have, we have some work to do. Always something to keep an eye on. Senator, sure. thanks so much uh, for joining us on the Capitol Beat, and we'll be right back with more Fox 43 Morning News.